All right. So we've got Cameron and Kale in the house. Um, so guys, thanks so much for being here, man. Uh, it, it means a lot. I think uh, the audience of people watching are going to find it really useful, especially those who are uh, trying to make the transition from selling door to door to selling from a distance or how you guys do it over the phone, right? Um, but first, before we get started, man, I mean, uh, just give yourself, just kind of uh, give the viewers obviously a background as to uh, how you started and, uh, you know, what, you, what you've been doing uh, before solar and how you got your head start in solar. Yeah, I can jump into that. So <clears throat> Cameron, Cameron Mar, I've been in solar a very long time. Um, better part almost a decade and uh, started with a little company called Solar City that became Tesla and then started building teams building my own company um, and been doing it for a while been a partner at some very large companies um, Apricot Legacy different places and I uh, just realized you know the I, I want to run my own ship um, and so uh, Last year, you know, uh, I met Kale, and he'll go into his story. But last year in the fall or the summertime, well, I had known him previously before that. He was in a different career, a um, different sales career. And I, I came across him uh, last summer, and he said he wanted to learn solar. And, you know, I've, I've helped a lot of people learn solar, learn how to sell, learn how to set appointments, create leads, whatever, knocking and all these different things he was kind of the first one that grabbed onto all of it and actually just went and did it without me babysitting and then created some incredible, incredible success. And recently we've created our own consulting and coaching uh, group on Facebook as well. It's almost a thousand members in like a month or two. And um, we're still selling personally, personal production. We, we've partnered together. We, we've got reps all over the country. Um, in different markets, um, doing great things. Uh, but yeah, I'll let, I'll let Kale jump into his story. His, his story, I think like mine is like, I'm just this old dude that's been selling solar for, for a while. Um, <laughs> back when it was PPAs and leases and all that. And now it's, you know, loans and incredible programs. And Kale really, he showed what's possible in a very short amount of time in this industry. And so, yeah, I, I Think you get a lot of value from uh, his story so i'll let him go yeah thanks cameron and just to mention uh almost a thousand members in the group but but you've about to say the fastest growing group in solar on facebook and most engaged group in facebook uh that's awesome so oh, that's, that's that. cool, now, actually before sorry got you off i'm, I'm gonna have a yeah. i'm gonna link the uh i'm gonna link it in the description box below so if ever, anyone is interested yeah. in joining they can go ahead and join you guys as a group but go ahead man Cool. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. So, yeah, my story, I'll, I'll kind of leak some, some, some stuff that I haven't said publicly to a lot of people yet. Uh, I finally, like, Cameron and I have a small, like, line of, of, of like, how we know each other. Uh, and it's all because of solar. And, and I met him because I did start with that same Solar City company way back then when it was PPAs, but I was very immature and, and I didn't understand really what the industry was about. Um, you know, I think I was there for like a couple of years. Never did anything great income wise, um, left it, found a different career. Um, and just like, that's, but like, that's where our, our, our paths first crossed, right? Never did anything great. Um, but that's where I first heard the name Cameron Moore, right? And so fast forward a few years, um, Corona 2020, you know, COVID-19 hit and uh, I saw an opportunity to pivot. You know, I saw that my income was completely just being erased and um, a lot of people were making money in solar and I was like, they're still knocking doors. They're still like, they're still able to, to go to work. Like they're still able to do great in this time. So, so I wanted to pursue that. I knew that they were doing good. And I, and I found myself working with a company that uh, had phenomenal training. It's a great company that I uh, personally believe being my previous knowledge was all PPA and leases coming into a world where now we are selling loans primarily. And it's a different way that we sell it. You know, basically I'm coming in green and I think I came into a great place to, to really train myself up, but I was taught, how to only show savings, how to offer, you know, dog treats like incentives and money and, you know, air conditioning and refrigerators and all these silly things. Right. And, um, 
and it, it limited my income. It limited my ability to produce what I was truly worth. Right. And that's the key word capable of worth. Um, so that's kind of my, so that's kind of how that, you know, fast forward, met Cameron, uh, you know, pursued him, got him into his back pocket, learned from him. And then, you know, basically my first month made five grand, um, which is more than I've ever made at a job before. I think the most I've ever made at a job is like 2,400 bucks a month. So I made five grand my first month. I reinvested all five grand when I needed it for bills, when I needed it for my wife to, to not be upset with me. Right. Um, I reinvested all of it into leads and uh, from those leads, I uh, made around 60000 My third month, around 80000 And uh, my biggest month that I've done so far was 104000 in commission. So, so that's kind of like, wow. and that's all within, you know, <laughs> maybe four, five, six months, which, was, which is amazing. Um, and, and so I do love this industry very much. And so I hope that inspires anybody that, that hears that story. That it's, you know, no, no matter how much you know, just no matter how, how hard you work. For sure. How willing it's, you are. It's, it's mind blowing. It's uh, 104 grand. That's insane. December, A December month? 2020. Yeah. So, so um, if you, if you had to, so to both of you guys, so if you had to um, train somebody from literally not being able to sell to becoming a sales pro in a very specific industry, because I believe soul is very unique in a way, you know, it's not, it's not like selling insurance, you know, where people assume it's like this 60, 70 bucks a month, uh, you know, thing that they have to commit to. And that's pretty much it. You know, this is a, you know, most of the time it's like a 40, 50, 60 grand loan, you know? And so how do you get somebody from, from being a, a newbie to, you know, knowing how to sell? Like what, what, what are the steps that you take them through? Do you want me or do you want to go, Ken? Yeah, I can. I mean, the way it worked with Kale and multiple other reps that <clears throat> um, we've trained that I've trained in the past is first, you got to let them know that it's very, it's very simple, but it's not going to be easy. Uh, you're going to have to show up every day and treat this opportunity for the results that it could give you, which is six figures a month in income or more. If you duplicate yourself and have more and more people that you're duplicating, but the, the biggest thing is we, we, we have a, you know, right now, you know, if we were to plug somebody into our system, we have a course they can plug into. It's a, literally an online course teaching them our presentation word for word, the psychology behind it, and right. the word for word on a PDF, right? Like they can literally robotically duplicate it. Um, and then we have all these different systems. We have everything. But the key is actually utilizing it. It's all theory until someone you does it like Kale. Like that's the reason why he had that success is we have the systems, you know, McDonald's has a perfect system and they're a real estate company, not a hamburger store. Like they have the perfect system, but it doesn't work unless you work it. We right. give you the gym, you know, you, you pay us. Well, if you work with our company, you don't pay us, but if you pay for consulting, you pay for the, the gym membership and the, the you know five figure investment for the the personal trainer on the best equipment the best training in the world but if you don't show up to the gym we can't it, it, that's the first step yeah. so that's that's my mindset like it's all mindset well, like yeah, I, show up and then we can help you execute that's yeah awesome. i think that's that's our company's like like motto is like keep showing up i, I think for for my mindset is very similar like i would teach somebody that you need to pay a price like the only reason why I think I've, I've, I've created the, the success that I've created in such that, that short amount of time was that I was just willing to do more than anybody else was willing to do. Like I was willing to put more money on the line. I was willing to put more hours out on the doors when I didn't have any, like, like most of you, like of the guys watching this probably have a mentor in some way knocking on doors with them if they're doing doors, right? Or, or have a mentor getting leads for them in some way showing how, how I, I did not really have that, right? I was on my own. I went out there on my own regard and figured it out. And, and that's what it takes. So I would take somebody to teach them the price, pay the price that way you honor and you understand the value that you're asking that table when you ask someone to sign a deal and you understand the value that you're worth, that you're bringing to the table because of what it took to, to create that business. Right. So that's just to add on what Cameron said, but it's definitely a, a, a mindset of showing up and knowing that the work that you put in today doesn't show up for 90 days down the road when there's momentum, right? When there's momentum. So 
Yeah, I don't know if that answers that question, but that's what I would say to that. Yeah, no, it, it answers it perfectly. So if you were to um, take somebody from, I mean, look, th there's a lot of people, like, a, like you said, watching this, um, just starting out in solar, you know, they've, they've learned about the, the great potential to make money. And, uh, you know, they, they just, they just got in, you know, um, what would you say to somebody? Cause I, I get a lot of people that have just joined like power, for example, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm nothing against them, but you know, I, I just know that there's better opportunities, um, out there, mm -hmm. you know? And so, um, you know, what would you say to someone who, who just starting out, um, they don't have any, you know, they don't have any pretty much mentors or, you know, people to teach them how to sell, you know, what would you, what would you say to somebody like if, if they're looking at you right now? Uh, well, I, mean, I would, I would say seek, seek us out, find, find us. We, you can sell in every state that you can sell solar. We have a connection in. Um, and yes, I'm going to self promote because I believe that we provide the best systems, best opportunity out there. There are a ton of great companies. It's just, you're on your own. Um, with, with us, you're only on your own. If you choose to be, you know, you can plug into us, um, people that have made millions and millions in solar over the years. Um, but what I would say to somebody just plugging in if they're at power or wherever, and, and like you said, nothing against their system, their, their system works for the person off the street. Um, but there are better opportunities, better training, um, a lot, a lot more money, um, better, better install timeline, all this stuff that the brand new person doesn't even know what that yeah. is. They don't even know what a red line is, right? Cause yeah. power tells them their red lines 170 when it's a baseline plus, plus splits. These are all the things we can teach them, but the brand newest person, what we would tell them is seek, well, they, like you said, they don't have a mentor. Seek out a mentor and then prove to them, pursue them and prove to them that they're, you're worth their time. That's what Kale did. You know, he showed up and was like, just like, texting and calling me I got a, I got another lead I got another appointment can you come help me do this can you do this and then he eventually just started doing it himself once he saw that what I was doing wasn't that hard um but yeah you got to seek them out pursue them and convince them that you're worth their time investment because because to us now being where we're at in this industry in this level our time's worth way more than like like you can even quantify money wise like like you can't even say thousands of dollars because we can make $10,000 in an hour if we put, decide to do it. So that's the thing is we don't put the money on it. It's just time. Like convince us that you're worth our time and that you'll actually show up every single day. Um, whether it's on Zoom or whether it's over text or whether it's in the office um, or, or on the doors, whatever it is. So yeah, seek out, pursue and convince. That's awesome. Yeah. And I would even say like some of you guys, like if, if, you know, you're maybe you're not reaching out to us. Um, that's fine. Like reach out to the people in your company, right? There's people that are either winning or that started it or that are managing it, right? Like find people up, up line, you know, someone who's above you that uh, could take you underneath their wing and that's got some experience that can teach you. Cause I would say, yeah, I do agree that there's more opportunity and there's better opportunity, especially when you like, when there's an opportunity that will educate you and pay the way that a, an owner would get paid. But like, I think the biggest thing too is like if you're just getting started if you've just got anybody that is willing to talk to you and help you like like take advantage of that right take take serious advantage of that but just know that there are better opportunities out there uh, and typically you have to find uh you have to find them yourself right and and i guess this is exposing that here's one right here for you but like just be grateful and, and, and I, I people slam power like hey they like what cameron said they've got a model that works for them and there's people who've worked it very well and they've crushed it right and so i'm not trying to shed hate out there like it's all good um but yeah there's there's great opportunities there's not so good opportunities but if you've got somebody no matter what position you're in that's at least got some experience just leverage that and then as you pursue people like like us or or yvonne or, or whatever you know direction you're trying to go in, in your career yeah yeah one more one more thing like the that goes along with that is what we teach people in our group and on our team and and all these things is there's there's three ways to learn 
learn something and there's a different speed according to them. So the first way is with your own knowledge, your own self, seek it out, fall flat on your face for weeks, months, years, if you don't quit in the first week or two. Um, then there's learning from, from others that have no experience, taking advice from people that have no business giving you advice and then trying to hope that they know what they're talking about. First one's the slowest. Second one is like still the slowest because you're seeking advice from people that have no results. The third way is to seek advice from a mentor. Put yourself on a private jet uh, to the destination, skip security, get there in a couple hours, or you can just you know walk there if you choose the other ones. Find somebody that has done what you want to do and then convince them you're worth their time. And if if you can't convince them, then pay them whatever amount of money they, they want to teach yeah. you how to do what they did. And that, that's what I did. That's what Kale did. And yeah. And yeah. here's, here's not, not to go like, we'll, we'll cut it off at this, but here, here's a great example. You got two spots right here. One guy, I don't know if, if this is how it shows up on the, on the video, but right now he's below me. This dude, he paid the price of hard knocks. That's, that's level one, right? You're going to pay the price. If you want to win and you want to be successful, you will pay the price. So either you're going to pay the, the price of hard knocks, like, like Cameron, or like I did, I paid for his hard knocks. I paid for the time that he spent 10 years of hard knocks. And I just paid for that. And I took a time travel to, and I went to where I need to go right away. Because I'm 10 years younger than he is. I'm not trying to wait till he's his, till his age to be where he's at right now. I want to be there now yeah. so we can do more, right? And so um, you're going to pay the price one way or another. Your choice on how you pay it but it will come one way or another. That's great, man. So if you're, if you're, if somebody's starting out, would you start them out at the doors or it doesn't matter if they have a lead source? Yeah, absolutely. Lead? So in my opinion, I would start you out, like, like pay the price, like understand before you can close a deal, you need to get a lead. How do you get a lead? Well, do you have money? No. Okay, great. Like, let's go get, let's go make money out of thin air then. And so we would teach like, that's for me, that's where I would start is, and, mm -hmm. and I'm not a big, like, like door knocking is not my huge thing. I'm more like, I've got a system. So we've actually built a program. It's um, very, very affordable program, but it's designed for somebody who doesn't want to go knock on doors, but they don't have enough money to invest into lead, lead generation, so, so to speak, right? Like their pipeline isn't juicy enough for them to, to make that investment into a lead partner like, like yourself, um, which huge shout out to you, man. Love working with you. But so for people who don't know how to, you know, they don't have the money or the willingness to do that with, with somebody like yourself yet, uh, but they don't know how to knock on doors, they don't want to do it or whatever that might look like. We actually have a program that we put together that like, it's streamlined, takes care of that issue. You don't need to go knock on doors. You don't need a, a lead provider unless you want to when you build a pipeline. Um, and, and you can get that uh, as well. well. We'll give you all this information like later, but just so you, just so you know, like that's, that's where I would start them. And we do have that already taken care of and how that would happen uh, but absolutely like you need to know how to get a lead and be self-sufficient like don't ask what the company can do for you what can you do for the company how can you go bring money to the company right more money you bring to the company the more the company can give you to better your your ability to, to make sales to get you know access to company leads to get access to training recruiting like all these different things that help grow a business right and so that's for me, yeah, starting whether it's on the doors or our system, how to get a lead, how to get that lead into closing the deal. Yeah, 100%. That's, that's what I would do. The reason why we would start them with that method, this digital door knocking uh, course that we have, um, it's not easy. It's not fun. It's cold calling, but it, it is, it doesn't cost you anything. Um, it cost us a lot to figure it out and develop it. Um, with other people we learned from and different systems and then we made it better and better and better. But are you willing to sit there and call a hundred people a day to try to get one appointment? Cause they're not expecting your call. We have all the systems and scripts for that too. But if somebody does it for 20 minutes, 30 minutes and they talk to five people and Oh, they don't want it. I'm like, of course they don't want it. This is door knocking. It, go, go out on the doors and see what it's like. It, it hurts even more. Um, yeah someone's willing to do that for like even just a week four hours a day five days a week for one week they, they they doesn't matter if they get a result or not the willingness to do shows me 
okay, I can probably invest in this person. But most people that we give that to, they don't um, show back up. After they, 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 they do it for a, a few hours, not even a few days. Um, so yeah. that's why, yeah, we, and we have all these things, but we'll start them there. The ones that do follow through, they do get some results. We help them close the deal. It's like magic um, to them. We create it out of thin air and then that's where we'll run with that person. And then we'll, we'll invest yeah. in them. It just made me think of a story. It's funny you said that, Ken, because it's like people, people want, um, like we talk to people and they want the results that I've gotten that short amount of time. And they show for a week and they do half the amount of work that I did in that week. And then they complain that not, they didn't get a deal. And I did twice as much for 30 days before I saw any results. It's like people, their expectations so funny, right? It's like put in work and expect no results. Welcome to being an entrepreneur. Become valuable, <laughs> create value in the marketplace. Yep. Put in work and you may go nowhere. Welcome to be an entrepreneur. Let's figure it out. Let's put our, our big boy pants get to work right yep and so yeah i believe that beginning step is gonna is gonna either build somebody's character or it's gonna get them the heck, the heck out that's a great filtering system right there great that's a great um that was a great analogy as well as honestly if if somebody's not willing to put in the work then you know um they're probably not what i mean they're not going to be worth um, you know, six figures a month or, or seven figures a year or whatever it might be. Right. But, Cause think yeah. about it, Yvonne, think about this, man. Like we, like, this is how we like Cameron and I, like, this is our mindset. Like we, this is a personal development company. Like we happen to sell solar. That just happens to be the vehicle in which we make money. Right. But we're, we're developing men and women in life. We're teaching them how to make millions of dollars. That's a big responsibility, right? And so, hundred percent, yeah. We need to build character in these, in these, and preferably young men and women, but you know, these are easier to work with. But you know, we need we need to instill character and belief and conviction and confidence in these in these guys, in these women, right? And so, it starts with that. If that's where we're going to start training somebody, character is the first thing that we need to, that we need to build in somebody. It's it's uh, what's the story, Cameron? When some it's it's the, it's the marathon, right? There's a guy, you know, the, the first guy he, he wins the marathon, and all the reporters are taking pictures. Or paparazzi's going crazy, They're like, man, how'd you do it? You were so fast. How do you feel? Are you excited? He goes, "What are you guys doing? This isn't about me. I want you guys to stay here and wait for the last guy to show up. The last guy to show up. I want you when, when everyone's gone, when when the crowd is left, when there's no one left, and he still fought that last guy crosses the finish line. I want you guys to be here and and and, and capture that moment. They go, okay, we'll be here. What's his name? And his name is character, right? It's the guy out there that's dying, taking one step at a time, just trying to get to the end. He can't make it, right? It's but the character, the resolve within to not quit, to not give up, to follow through, right? That's what we need. Like, so we need to develop that first for personal development. So that's why it's key. That's why we would start them there. Yeah, you're right. I mean, uh, you said it right. I mean, the vehicle happened to be solar, but it could have been anything else, right? So um, and a, lot, a lot of people get into solar without, I mean, to be honest, a lot of people just have unrealistic expectations to begin with, you know? And so whether it comes to the doors or whether it comes to, you know, selling from a distance, the way you guys do it, you know, but uh, which leads me to my next question, man. I mean, if you, for example, if you want to start somebody at the doors or let's say somebody has already done some door knocking, right. Let's say five, six months, a year of door knocking. Right. And that's the yeah. only way they know how to generate appointments um, and, and close deals. Okay. How would you say that differentiates from, um, you know, selling from a distance like over the phone the way you guys do it for example um it it differentiates it itself well just on the simple fact that it's not the same um but um someone who's been door knocking how how it could be better to sell at a distance sell over the phone you can get a lot more done you can only knock on a door and then give it 15 seconds or whatever if you hear some signs of life and then go to the next and then go to the next. Um, 
and also if we're promoting this this over the phone online zoom all these different ways selling at a distance if that i know that's what we're doing right now because it works it let's just be honest rejection over the phone is a joke compared to in person yep if you can handle it there but like it, i i run into if i bring someone in and have them call the leads just to test them out just see where they're at and they like it butthurt over like three people being like i'm not interested and then they ask me what the heck i thought these leads were good i'm like no like this is not a good fit but someone who's been on the doors you know what it takes like like selling over the phone and in a distance if you just show up every day will be i'm not gonna say easy it just will be nothing compared to what you faced on the doors and and i don't want people that always just be looking for oh an easier route but i would say it's a more efficient emotionally efficient because you're not getting rejected and systematically efficient because you can hit more and more and more and more people and with you you know a couple thousand dollar investment or even i mean even on a higher level more than that one deal doubles what you invested if you if you sell the way we do so uh, yeah yeah much more efficient um and you can you can last a lot longer if you've already lasted five six months or a year on the doors then selling at a distance or over the phone is it is is i want to say a joke just a breath of fresh air yeah I, w- I would even just add to that simply enough like my my goal is to increase income and decrease time to produce it right yeah. not increase time and so with lead gen and virtual sales like i can duplicate my efforts while I'm sleeping, while I'm with my wife, when I'm, when I'm with my son, like I can be at the park, like I can, I can enjoy my life with my family. Like for me, like if you've been knocking for more than six months, my goodness, like I love you. No, it's awesome. I went 30 days, made five grand and bought myself some leads, right? Cause I want time with my family. I want time with my, my, my family. And so for that, that's what it is for me, honestly, whether it's a virtual or an in-home, the fact that I can generate income without, and virtual is amazing. We've got some amazing friends that are crushing solar, crushing it, making 30, 40, $50,000 a month. And they're, you know, just young couple traveling the world all from a computer selling solar. How cool is that? How cool is that? Making thousands of, oh, babe, you want to go to Italy? Cool. Let's go. And then, oh, when we land, I got to do an appointment. Oh, I just made 10 grand. Cool. Let's go have some fun. Like, how cool is that like i don't know what age group we're talking to but like there's options especially over virtual so i i like it i love it awesome so um on closing me and i mean you know when it comes to closing i mean i always say in my videos that the way the way you know it's the same product essentially you're selling the same thing um but because you're not able to, you're not there in front of the, uh, in front of the customer and you're not able to build immediate trust. So you need to spend a little bit more time, you know, just, to, just so you don't, um, fuck up the sale. Right. Uh, <laughs> and before you start pitching, you know, it, you know, and that's, that's probably one of the ways that it differentiates that you just need to, you need to take that into account. The fact that you're not, you're not going to have immediate connection with the customer. You're going, to, you're going to need to spend a little bit more time just so you can buy yourself more time and they can listen to you, right? Because you're selling an expensive premium product. If, if they see you as the next sales guy, right, and not as their financial advisor, for example, they're not going to buy a $50,000 loan off of you, right? And so, well, on closing, man, I mean, uh, <clears throat> what would you – you know, what would you advise both of you guys, Kale and Cameron? Uh, what would you advise somebody who's literally just starting out and wants to figure it out? They probably, you know, they've done something else. Now they're getting into solar, right? They're brand new. What would you say? Uh, by the way, I am going to link your group in the description box and um, to your uh, to your group. It's a Facebook group, right? Yeah. Yeah. Facebook group. Enjoy. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, so if they go into the group, they'll get access to, I mean, they'll get, first and foremost, they'll put in their phone number, and we'll text them over the ebook that we wrote that uh, basically breaks down how to sell solar at an aggressive price. 
Um, so they'll, they'll get a text message from us to, to get that book as well. They'll get some text content for like, you know, if we're going live and, you know, if we put a post up for them to kind of get active and, and, and engaged. Um, and then they'll have access to all of our trainings as well. So a lot of the principles that we believe and teach on in our company is all stored in that group, you know, behind the mindset. Like there's a lot of things that you touched on that we couldn't go into to a lot of deep detail because we don't have the time for it. But in the group, we have a lot of trainings that, that go into deep detail on these different topics that are important in sales and psychology and success in general. That would be great for them to check out. So that would be what would happen there as well. Um, the first thing that I would tell them to do again, I'm, yeah, I'm going to self promote as well. Cause I believe what our program has been designed to do is take somebody who's brand new, uh, off the streets and turn them into a, sol a seasoned solar pro fast and making a lot of money fast. And so the first thing that I would have them do is I would push them to our online door knocking program, uh, get them set up so they can start paying the price for one. Uh, but, but really so they can get set up, get, getting deals put into the pipeline. So that way they can start looking into conversations with, with yourself uh, about generating some leads for them to get their time back. That's, that's my thought. Cool. Yeah, man. Um, Cameron, what do you have for somebody who's just starting out? What do you advise to someone who's just like literally on the, they're changing career paths and the, you know, they heard about this great commissions in solar and the, you know, yeah. now they're at it. I'd say, well, one, like, like actual implementation, what Kale said, you know, we get them <clears throat> going in systems that we know that work if they work them. But the other thing is expectation, the mindset and the expectation of, I, I'd say, you know, don't expect to make anything your first month and show up at least five days a week. I would say uh, your first that, three months. Don't expect month, any yeah. money for three months. Yeah, and if and you got to be able to survive that way. Um, but the whole thing with with solar is people want to get rich quick scheme. Um, everybody wants to get rich quick scheme, but then they find out that oh, there's work involved, and and, and they they go back to what they said they wanted more than, and that that it. I believe solar is a get rich quick scheme with our proven system and the way we can onboard people and bring them in and teach them all the levels um to build their own empire with under our umbrella is honestly it's you could 10 grand your first month if you actually follow it um if you can invest in leads from the beginning uh, you know 1500 2000 bucks something like that then it and then you just get it going yvonne's the guy to do it but oh my gosh like five figures your first month if that's not a get rich quick scheme i don't know what is but everybody wants a get rich quick scheme that takes no work that takes buying a lottery ticket well well we can show you how to turn this into an empire and make five figures your first month multiple five figures and then in six to 12 months get yourself to a six figure month if that's not get rich quick i don't know what it is what is because that job that you're at, that, that career, that whatever, that maybe you were very successful at, that was a get rich never scheme. So which one's better? And I, I, my whole thing is expectation. Expect to make nothing, but expect to put in a ton of work and you'll by default make, make something. Um, but but it's, all, it's all expectation and it's all willingness to do. That's all we look for. The mindset of maximum effort yeah minimum gain right yeah to yeah. begin yeah. with and uh one thing you mentioned as well um kale actually uh that really uh just intrigued me I, I wanted to touch on this a little bit um you guys are teaching people on how to sell solar the right way meaning you're not because th there's a bunch of people out there that are showing people how to sell solar by dropping or lowballing everyone else in the block and that's not you know what I mean? Like, you know, like, Cameron just uh, laughed because he knows exactly what I'm talking about, right? It's amateur. It's just being an amateur, thinking that, well, you don't value yourself or your time, so you go in and I just want to get this deal. And every time you go in and undercut someone else and you try to beat someone's price, which I'm not saying we don't do that. A lot of the time we can because of the margins we have and the connections we have in the industry, but it waters it down. It, it makes... Those, those are for the people that, that, that are 
not treating this like a long-term wealth building engine. Uh, they need to get a quick hit. It's, it's like the, the addicts um, of the industry, quick hit and then figure out how to get the next quick hit, but they never can, they never can keep the, keep it going. Um, so it's just an amateur versus a pro. A pro knows the value that they are and are willing to walk away from someone that's asking them to lower their value. Yeah, so we, we created a, a way that we can, any, again, regardless of experience level, we can teach anybody how to close a high ticket deal. And for Cameron and I, when we say high ticket deal, we, we, I mean, we, we work with Lone Pal, so 550 all in would be a high ticket deal. And that's what we focus on. That's what we stay at. That's where we sell at. And, and I'm not saying that you need to sell as high as we do, right? I think you need to figure out what price per watt you're, you're comfortable with. And I believe that I'm worth that. So um, I charge that. And, and, I, and I, in our presentation, in terms of how we sell it, yeah, it is the right way where we build that value. Um, we're not doing like we're being upfront and honest. We're being straight shooters with the client. We're educating them. We're, we're teaching them. We're, we're just doing so much and there's so much value that's being built because of what we've, uh, you know, the strategy that we put into our presentation uh, that we teach all of our guys that we duplicate. Um, yeah, it does create that. And then we've also, because we have to handle these amateurs that do come in and try and undercut, we have also in our presentation that also defends against amateurs, right? Like we, we protect ourselves from that um, because we know that people are going to come in and we've got clients that will literally call us who will get a lower price and they'll call us and they'll say, Hey, like, you know, I, I did go get another quote and, and the price actually was lower. Like you said it was, and I just want you, can you come look at it and let me know like what's going on? And we've had the opportunity to go back and just completely look at the clients or, or their competition's contract and show the client why we're the better, the better option because of our presentation created that, that dynamic, that relationship, the trust and that, that seed of, Hmm, why are the pricing different? Like, what am I missing here? And calling us back, right? Cause we created that. So if that answers your question, um, there you have it, man. But yeah, yeah, we do, we do have a presentation that we built out to sell it the right way based on value to charge a premium price to, to get expen like the most out of your commission um, the right way with the client, but also to protect us from, from those amateurs who want a low bid. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Thanks. Thanks so much guys for tuning in uh, and uh, you know, doing this with me today. Um, so I'm going to link the description in the, in the box. It will be the first link in the description to join uh, Cameron and Taylor's group. And uh, they're the real deal, man. I'm, you know, it, you know, I've, I've been working with them for a little while now. And uh, honestly, like the way they've been training people is it's mind blowing. So, and I do believe you guys have what it takes to show people how to sell solar the right way. So thanks for tuning in. Thank you, man. And Thanks, the, the group, the, the hyperlink to the group is solarmillionairegroup.com. That'll direct you straight to the Facebook group and you can request to, to join. Solarmillionairegroup.com. Cool. Awesome. Thank you, cool. guys. Appreciate you, Thanks, man. Thanks, Yeah. Take care.